What's going on everybody? Come back. We're going to talk about this lower receiver here and a little issue we have with it. What's going on everybody? How's my outdoor crew doing? Got to be honest with you. Second time I've shot this video. Uh, first time I shot it, I actually shot doing all the work and got in to start doing my uh, little um, editing and realized the whole time I was shooting the video, original video, audio was not on. That's right, the mic on top of the camera was not on. Oops. <laughs> so anyway, what I may do as I talk about this is roll in some clips from that video since I saved it didn't trash it as much as I wanted to just delete forget it but now I wanted to bring you something tell you what happened with this and what I did to resolve the problem now this is an Anderson lower I've got another Anderson lower over there on rifle I built right before I built this one and um, not had any problems out of it this particular one um, I hadn't shot it yet Chase was talking about going to the range going to an outdoor range I said hey take the muddy girl with you he said okay I said I've never put a round through it take a muddy girl with you put some rounds through it kind of sight it in the best you can I said the sight in tools in the bag and let her rip so he did he let her rip and shot several bunch of rounds through it and I'm pretty sure they weren't easy with it which I don't want them to be I want them to beat on them well the thing he was noticing when he got back home, he was telling me about it. He said the pins were backing out on the trigger group. And the hammer pins were backing out. So I said, okay. I know what we can do about that. So went on to one of my favorite as far as parts for my these guns. <laughs> trying to behave. Um, is Strike Industries. Now... My black gun, all black rifle, is nothing but Strike Industries for the most part as far as the accessories on it. I love that company. I love the product they put out. And so I went with their anti-walk, anti-roll pins. Um, anti-rotation, excuse me. Trigger hammer pins. And the way these work is you push... The original pins out push these in on this side they're bigger so they will not go through the pinholes so they locked in here so then on this side this slides over a little notch on this pin and latches down on this pin whoop so you can see that. So that locks the two pins in. So they're not backing out. Not rolling around. Or anything like that. Um, I trust this will work. This will hold them in. I've not had any problems out of the strike industry stuff. I've always trusted their stuff. Um, haven't had a chance to go try it yet. We will soon or he will at least and see how she does um, but it's locked in it's not backing out either direction and I'm pushing on it it's it's locked in it's there um, there's plenty of different um, reasons out there why this happens um, you know they try to mill spec these as best as they can you know over the years things get a little bit wanky I'm sure in tooling and that kind of stuff and so maybe the holes get a little bit too big or 
maybe something's not catching right in here well now that that pretty well solves that problem with that anti-roll anti-walk pin kit from strike industries um i want to go when he goes next time because i'm gonna shoot this one see how it does it's got a different type sight doesn't have a carry handle it has a different type but it still has the peep sight with the yeah, i'll show you may even put it back together on camera what are they gonna do they're too busy keeping everything else off internet um grab the upper receiver or upper the barreled upper but um yeah i had um a 12 minute install video or put together video of this particular pin set no audio none not whatsoever i didn't look up to make sure the little meter was reading and no i just, I just you know recorded and nothing really happened there we go so anyway there's the side on that one on this upper uh, it is a, like a peep sight, if you can see. But it just doesn't have the carry handle part. Um, we hadn't done much with this gun, actually. It's just been kind of hanging out. Um, you know, doing its thing. Just hanging out in the safe. Uh, I did put a Magpul um, trigger guard on it, Magpul grip. It's got a standard forward assist, standard door. Uh, yeah, even the charging handle standard. And I think this may be, maybe this is UTG, or maybe it's a Magpul buttstock. So, nothing fancy. I mean, it's even got the old birdcage on it. But anyways, guys, so I just wanted to bring you that. Uh, that's a down walk pins for your guns here. Try not to say it. Um, but, uh, yeah, I mean, it was, it took, it really took, I took longer explaining what all I was doing than it did to actually put the things in. I mean, it took just basically five minutes to pop them out, in and out. What I had, I've got one of these. This is for working on guns, too. Um, it's made by Real Avid. It's a polymer with a kind of a rubber covered polymer. And I just sat this over it. And literally, actually I set it like that. And pushed the pin through on both of them. And knocked out the old pins on the way. And she was done. Nothing to it. So anyways guys, wanted to bring you that. Um... Got a couple other things I'm going to bring you here pretty soon. Me and Chase are going to the range. I asked that on YouTube um, community. And YouTube community said they'd like to see that. So me and him are going to go to the range. We may just go to do pistols. Uh, seeing how I've got an abundance of 9mm. I got a couple of boxes, okay. And we're going to go um, plank a little bit. Um... He needs to stay up on his shooting till he still finds his gun. He still has not found a gun he wants. Of course, right now it's like, you know, I don't know. It's hard to find a gun right now. And he's having trouble finding one, but we've, we're looking. Um, I don't know, we may go this weekend and hit a couple places other side of town and see what happens. But for now, that is it. Um, sorry, I, got, you know, first world problems. <laughs> but anyway, so that was what I did. Is I did the NI walk pins on this gun, and we'll have to see if it helped. Should have, and uh, we'll go from there. All right, guys. See you on the next one. Be prepared. <laughs>